Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading. I'll be pulling from both of my decks here, the Modern Day Seers Tarot and Oracle Tarot with a twist, as well as from my Yummy Tarot. So this particular one, if you're not familiar with it, it does contain all of the usual tarot messages, but it also includes Oracle messages as well as new court cards. And just a quick announcement for my Yummy Tarot. This is currently on sale for the next couple of weeks. It's typically, I forget what price it is, $55, I believe. But it's currently going for $40 for the next couple of weeks. Of course, I'll provide the deck shop link down below. All right, so let's get into some messages here for you, Aquarius. It is a timeless reading. It is a general reading as well. So always take from it whatever makes sense for you. So let's grab some insight here when it comes to you and the person you're thinking about. Ooh, look at this. We're starting off with Archangel Sophia, and that's followed by the Four of Wands, as well as the Two of Cups. That's an amazing lineup. So let's read this card. You could also be dealing with somebody named Sophia. You could be named Sophia. That's coming through for somebody. So I am the angel of love. I can help you manifest a reconciliation with your beloved. So for those of you who are in separation, and that's very complimentary to the Four of Wands right next to it, because this could be a desire to come back into union, a very happy reunion. Okay, and Archangel Sophia is here to assist with that. I can assist in efforts towards forgiveness and bring about a mutual understanding between you and your partner. I can show you the way to self-love and in finding the great love of your life. Call on me if you are looking to awaken your heart chakra. This can apply to singles as well, looking for love, okay? You could attract either a twin flame. The two of cups can also be looked upon as a soulmate card. So both of these energies look fantastic. There could be future marriages here. This could be a family that you create with somebody. It's beautiful energy. As long as you guys have the same vision, want the same things, work together, and there's this mutual attraction between you and this person, this looks like a very compatible match right here. And I'm dropping cards. <laughs> Let me grab those too. It just literally flew out of my hands. All right, so here we are. I'm telling you, this flew out from the deck as I was about to choose another Ten of Cups, as well as the Oak Tree card. And of course, the, the Ten of Cups is an amazing card, along with everything else we already see here. So this is another card telling us, Aquarius, that there could be a future reunion for those of you who are in separation. Ten of Cups is such a beautiful card. Inner happiness, fulfillment that you feel with this particular someone. It's like a dream that manifests. You know, it does represent divine love, blissful relationships, all of the amazing milestones that you would want to experience with somebody. Starting a family, as I've mentioned, getting married someday. This truly brings you into alignment with the person that you're meant to live your life with. Now, for some of you who might be single at this point in time, going towards this oak tree message, it can represent this very friendly vibe between two people. So if this is perhaps a friendship that turns into love, it could really, truly go the distance, I feel. Okay, so let's see what else we can pick up here for Aquarius. So Divine Feminine, you're coming in with the energy of the Queen of Cups. We've got the Six of Pentacles coming through as well. So I really like this because this is equality. This is people who are on the same page, truly. You guys are able to give to each other as much as you take from one another and being very grateful what you have found in each other. And Divine Feminine, Part of the energy of the Queen of Cups is compassion. You're very caring. You're emotionally stable and very intuitive. Okay, so the Queen of Cups picking up off of the intuition. And you also tend to perhaps get easily hurt and easily wounded. You know what it's like to have experienced heartbreak in your past and ultimately knowing what it is that you're looking for in an ideal mate. 
Okay, so what you're looking for is equality here. Let's see what else. We have Archangel Raphael popping up as well. So I am the angel that heals all wounds. Are you nursing a broken heart? And of course, you're the only one that can answer that. If somebody has hurt you, if you've experienced a recent breakup, or perhaps you're in separation from somebody that you really care for and love, and it's been a while. Okay, so we've got Archangel Raphael here to help heal the wounds. I am here to assist on your healing journey. Let me remove the emotional baggage you've been carrying to lighten the burden from past relationships that are weighing you down. Let me help you heal your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. I'm here to aid in restoring your self-confidence, a healthy self-image, and to bring peace back in your life. So I really love how that's coming through here. I can't help but feel that this could be pertaining to some of my divine feminines because going back to the Queen of Cups, as we can see, part of the interpretation in the upright represents a feminine that's emotionally stable. Okay, and so Archangel Raphael is here to help with that instability, you know, letting go of emotional baggage that might have prevented you from being emotionally stable. Part of that vibe might have something to do with the moon right here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? So this is perhaps somebody that kept things from you. It can represent secrets. It can represent something that's either deceptive or manipulative or somebody that's giving you mixed signals and they're confusing you, okay, because of how they treated you or certain things that they said. So you're wanting to really stay away from perhaps an individual that you couldn't trust. There could have been infidelity in this situation. And what you're looking for here truly is a very happy connection where you're compatible with that individual. But since we do have Archangel Raphael right here, for those of you that would be open towards healing this relationship and coming back together, then that can happen if you're both open to it. So we, we have Archangel Sophia and Archangel Raphael here to help with your love situation. We also have the Six of Wands. So I'm really happy to see that for you, Aquarius, because this right here represents a very successful connection. Okay, so it is representing victory. It's representing winning at love, winning at life, making progress that is significant here. Okay, and restoring your self-confidence. So I really like how that is coming through here for you. And that's reiterated by the Archangel Raphael card. I'm here to aid in restoring your self-confidence. And the Six of Wands is very in tune with that as well. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some additional messages for you. Aquarius from the Yummy Tarot deck. But that's a very nice group of cards coming through. And yes, you might have experienced some challenges, but nothing that you can't overcome as long as you and your person are both invested and have the same vision as to where you guys want to end up. But for those of you who are unattached and just ready to move forward, you can find new love also. All right, so Aquarius, what else? Yeah, look at this. We've got the moon coming through again. So somebody who was deceptive towards you and probably kept things from you. So that's a challenge. This person thinks about you, though. You're very much a part of their memories. This is someone from your past, perhaps, Aquarius, who wants to return who wants to be able to bring you that Ten of Cups. We have seen references to a desire to come back together. Look at this. We have the Ten of Cups again. They want to be able to bring this to you, but it can only happen if you allow them to bring it towards you. Okay. We do have the Five of Wands. Clearly, there were disagreements at one point in time where you guys just didn't see eye to eye. Okay, there was definitely some strife in the partnership. Perhaps it could represent 
love rivals as as well. So if that was the case, there could have been other people in the mix here, possibly a third party situation. It could be picking up off of that deception with the moon. So right now you guys are probably at a distance from one another. There's this need to just take a break, you know, and this represents a resting period with the four of swords. It is giving you time to heal. It's giving you time to recuperate from heartbreak. It's giving you time to really think things through as well as the other person. Okay. What else for Aquarius here? Divine feminine. So you're, you're really tapped into your intuition here. Okay. And perhaps that's why it's coming through twice in this reading. Queen of Cups. All right. You could also have water in your chart, Divine Feminine. It could be picking up off of that. Queen of Cups representing Cancer specifically. So that might make sense for some of you. So rely on your, your heart, your gut instincts, your intuitive nature to really figure out what's happening with your masculine. You guys have clearly been through it. We do have challenges that are represented here with the Seven of Wands. You know, and perhaps this person feels like they're losing control of the situation. It could be a masculine, you know. But look at this. We've got the star. This is an Aquarius reading. The star picks up off of your own Aquarius energy. And this, of course, it's a beautiful vibe. Hopes and wishes. So whatever it is you're hoping for, whatever it is you're focused on as far as manifesting a wish, Perhaps it's got some major significance when it comes to you, Aquarius, because it's coming through in your own reading. And I love how it's right next to the Ten of Cups. If that's what you're wishing for, you can have it. But you also have to be able to choose wisely, because if you are thinking about a person that you couldn't trust, that needs to be addressed. They need to come towards you being fully open and honest you know, not keeping things, no lies, no secrets. And that would allow them to be able to clear up these challenges. Absolutely. And for you guys to find happiness here long term. But if not, then you can manifest your wish to find happiness by going in a different direction here, Aquarius. Okay. So threes can represent that love triangle, but this is also telling you that there's a very celebratory type event that might be happening in the future. Okay. This could be a new beginning in love. This could be a new love. This could be future marriage. Okay. Starting a family with somebody. You can have all of those things, Aquarius. Let's see what else here. Yeah, you've got the Ace of Wands. So this represents good news. And of course, it represents a possible new beginning for you. It's giving you the opportunity here, Aquarius, to start again, to be able to create a relationship, a life that fulfills you and truly makes you happy. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. You have another Ten coming through the Ten of Wands. So there's that heaviness, perhaps, that you've been carrying, or it could even apply to the other person. You know, this could be a heavy burden that has been weighing them down because of past actions and decisions. So you definitely have tens popping up. We've had the 10 of cups coming through twice. Okay. So this could be picking up off of imp improved finances for you, Aquarius, but in a love reading, Things will improve. Things will get better by perhaps closing one door and moving on to another situation, another relationship. You might actually find that there's someone way better suited for you, leading you down a road where you experience this happiness and security in your life. A very special bond, a very strong bond could even be a perfect match for you. And sometimes, you know, we have to walk away from what we thought was our ideal situation. So only you can decipher that for yourself, of course, Aquarius, but happiness can be yours. All you need to do is to be able to remove what has been 
creating challenges in your life and to not carry the burdens attached to it. All right, so I will leave that there, guys. Hopefully there is something in the messages that resonate for you. I feel you can have happiness in your life. You just need to be mindful of the people that don't want the same thing, you know, or aren't being open and honest with you. All right, so I'll leave that there, guys. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box, as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.